Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU car sales at 20-year low. A fragmented telecoms market will hold back 4G and broadband growth in Europe. Deal with European Union banning fish discards hailed. Greeks owe £4.3 million for student loans in the UK. Plus, proof of RBS EU forced sale due to breach of state aid rules. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, European Union car sales in May fell to a 20-year low as rising joblessness caused by a recession in the Euro region contributed to falling demand at PSA Peugeot, Citroën, Renault and General Motors. Registrations in the 27-member EU dropped 5.9% to 1.04 million vehicles from 1.11 million cars a year earlier, reaching the lowest level for the month since 1993. The Brussels-based European Automobile Manufacturers Association said in a statement. The drop contrasts with 1.7% growth in April that was the first gain in the market in 19 months, including figures from Switzerland, Norway and Iceland. Keeping pace with broadband and 4G LTE developments will be a near impossibility if Europe maintains a system of fragmented telecoms markets and providers, according to Vice President of the European Commission and Digital Agenda Commissioner Neely Crows. Crows has been pushing for reforms to the telecoms market across Europe for some time now, touting the benefits of simplified roaming and guaranteed net neutrality for all. Currently, there are more than 100 operators working across European countries. On Monday, Crows delivered another shot across the bows of any industry holdouts, curious as to what her intentions might be. So, bottom line, this is the EU machinating about driving towards a single harmonised market. Next step will be regulations that will make it ever more difficult for smaller competitors to field the market, which in turn will lead to corporate buyouts and will play the market further toward the single corporate monopoly regime that we have seen before. Ultimately, the losers will be the customers. I find it ironic that on the one hand, the kleptocrats crow about Keynesian free market dynamics when it's anything fiscal, but regale the idea when it actually relates to products and services markets. Discards are to be banned under a new European Union common fisheries policy, the Commons has been told. Hailing the deal as the culmination of three years of hard negotiation, Fisheries Minister Richard Bennion said it was ambitious reform of broken policy. Shadow Environment Secretary Mary Krieg endorsed the deal as a very real achievement. A phased ban on discards, the throwing back of edible and dead fish to avoid breaching quotas, will begin from 2015, Mr Bennion told MPs. Here we go again, more infinitely feeble waffle from our starched, shirted soothsayers in the Bruswellian Towers of Mordor. Of course, I deeply suspect that there isn't a minister among them that would know a fishing trawler if it fell out of the sky and landed in their scallops at the dinner table. And yet they lay claim to know best to how manage the decimated EU fish stocks. Greek students owe about £4.3 million sterling in unpaid loans provided to study at British universities. EU students are eligible for loans to cover living costs and tuition fees which they are required to start paying back when their own annual income exceeds the sum of £21,000. According to figures published by Britain's student loans company, while Greek students appeared to owe £4.3 million, Cypriot students seem to have borrowed some £24 million sterling and have so far repaid about £15.5 million. Irish students owe about £3.7 million, while a total of £10 million sterling is owed by French, German and Polish students graduating in the UK. I want to take us back briefly to an article from December 2012 relating to the Royal Bank of Scotland. 
I received today an official letter from the Royal Bank of Scotland in regard to the fall-through of the England and Wales branch sales to Santander. Firstly, this whole debacle has not been good for RBS shareholders, and given that the British people now own around 80% of RBS via the government rescue package, I'm not sure how comfortable I am knowing that a Spanish bank could use the forced purchase mechanism to disrupt the market price for RBS shares. That article written for us in December 2012. Well... Today, I have received this fantastic message from RBS Digital Banking, openly admitting that they are being forced by the unelected European Commission to sell off their branches. Yet in recent news, Mervyn King and the UK government is spinning us a line that now is the time to sell off the profit-making portion of RBS and leave us with the loss-making crippled business. <laughs> nice one, you cheeky bankster puppets. The really sad part is that most of the UK population is too busy watching Procrastination Street and Zimmerdale to even bother that their assets are being fleeced. I wonder what it will take to wake up the UK public. Today in our video library, we're still working hard to raise attention to our documentary Betrayed. This short feature documentary provides the full story on how democracy in the UK has been deconstructed piece by piece. So please do view this video on YouTube, share it with your friends, make comments and rate it too. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>